Roman Emperor Hadrian, had a close and controversial relationship with Antinous, a much younger Bithynian Greek, and they are one of the oldest same-gender couples in history. Here is their love story. Hadrian, born in 76 AD in Italica, Spain, ascended to the imperial throne after the death of Emperor Trajan. Hadrian's rule was marked by a focus on consolidating the empire's borders and fostering cultural and architectural advancements, but being a fairly important emperor also brought him many other privileges. Although he never admitted to have an interest in men, he was quite known to have several interactions with them. But his slight preference for men, especially younger ones, became much more clear when Antinous appeared in his life. Antinous, born around 111 AD in Bithynia, a region in Asia Minor, was of Greek descent. Little is known about his early life, and the details of how he entered the imperial court remain shrouded in mystery. Antinous's beauty and charm, however, captivated Hadrian, leading to a profound and enduring connection. The circumstances of Hadrian and Antinous's initial encounter are not so well documented. Some historical accounts suggest that they met during Hadrian's travels in Bithynia. When Hadrian was passing by, he happened to see the young and handsome Antinous, and his beauty shocked the emperor so he took him to his royal court. Another version of the story proposed that Antinous joined the imperial entourage because he wanted to be part of the royal court, and there the Emperor Hadrian saw him. But regardless of the exact circumstances, it is clear that their bond deepened over time. Speculation surrounding the nature of Hadrian and Antinous' relationship has persisted throughout history. While some contemporary sources imply a platonic mentorship, others suggest a romantic involvement. The lack of explicit historical evidence has fueled scholarly debates, leaving the true nature of their connection open to interpretation. But what is certainly known is that Antinous accompanied Hadrian on his extensive travels. He was always present around the emperor, whether he was at the table or in his room. The two always seemed to be together always keeping each other company. Unfortunately, the turning point in this love story occurred in 130 AD during Hadrian and Antinous's journey along the Nile, where Antinous drowned under circumstances that remain unclear to this day. Some historical accounts propose a horrible accident or that Antinous wasn't so happy in the relationship and wanted to put an end to his own life. Others' historical accounts suggests that someone wanted to get rid of him, to make the emperor to suffer. But regardless of these circumstances, Hadrian's deep sorrow at the loss of his companion was evident. His response to Antinous's death was unprecedented. The emperor's grief manifested in a widespread deification of Antinous, with temples and cults dedicated to the late companion, established across the empire. He declared Antinous a deity founding the city of Antinopolis in Egypt in his honor. And numerous statues, sculptures, and coins, featuring Antinous as a god, were commissioned, blending Greek and Egyptian artistic elements. The city of Antinopolis, strategically located near the site of Antinous's death, became a center for the veneration of the deified youth. Hadrian's dedication to preserving the memory of Antinous showcases the profound impact that this relationship had on both his personal life and the broader cultural landscape of the Roman Empire. The tale of Emperor Hadrian and Antinous remains one of history's intriguing enigmas. Their relationship, clouded by the passage of time and the lack of explicit documentation, continues to captivate scholars, historians and enthusiasts alike. Whether rooted in friendship mentorship, or something more, the story of Hadrian and Antinous transcends conventional historical narratives, revealing the complex interplay of power, love, and legacy in the heart of the Roman Empire. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting facts.